everyone, it's me, Sloth. And in today's video, I'm going to be making a guide on Sorcerer. Now, Sorcerer, it, it recently got a pretty cool rework, but a lot of people are confused on how the class works now and what abilities to spec into. So hopefully this video will alleviate those issues. If you found this video helpful, do be sure to like the video. And if you want to see more of content, be sure to subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's get into this video. The first and most important thing about Sorcerer now is that now it has a passive, which is known as Elemental Mastery. Where it just says damaging an enemy with a major source ability leaves lingering magic. Blah 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 mucho texto. But basically what this means is all of the source abilities have like some sort of elements to them. And what that means is like, for example, Meteor Storm that will burn for like, the, your enemy will burn, right? But you'll notice if you use this ability, the these dummies are not actually burning right now, and that's because all I've done is apply lingering magic onto them. I didn't actually apply the elements. Basically, if you use any mage ability, you'll see this. They have like this pixie dust sparkly effect on them. And that basically just means the next sorcerer ability I use will activate the elements. So now if I do, you know, thunder call, and then when they have the pixie dust, I use meteor. Now they're actually on fire. But now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about the abilities. So the first ability I'll be talking about is Frost Storm, and this is the typical AoE damage over time type ability, which grows over time until it gets too big, and then it just bursts, feeling like a burst of damage. It also applies these freezing stacks, which just make enemies take more damage. So if you were to apply the ice element, all it does is increase the amount of freezing stacks the enemies get. So instead of it bursting at 13, it'll burst at around 18 instead. The next ability is Meteor Shower. There's not much to say about this one. I mean, it's just very powerful. You launch a bunch of Meteors and it, it does stupid amount of damage. And now if you want it to apply the Flame Effect, the Flame Element, which is just the burn over like 215% of the ability power, you have to combo it with the Lingering Magic. And there you go, you get... Maybe they burn for like a stupid amount of damage. Earth Call is rework, so no longer does it do that one stupid like three second stun like it used to do. Now when you max it out, you'll shoot three boulders and it just shoots at the target. If you combo with the lingering magic, they'll actually do shock waves. So like now that they have the pixel dust, I use the earth call and you can see there's like shock waves that hurt the enemies around the dummy. Unstable Charge is another very stupidly overpowered ability where basically, oh, it didn't work. But basically any uh, enemy you attach this to will get this like bubble around them, which uh, they, even if they move around this bubble, will follow them and any enemy around them will get zapped by the lightning. And if you apply the lightning element to this one, you'll notice like it's some actual like lightning striking down on them. Now, Nature's Wrath is like a crowd control ability where you just summon vines from the ground and actually like kind of stun or root the enemies to the ground. And that's pretty much all there is to this ability, but if you apply the element of this ability, it can actually be very useful. It basically gives you back some of the MP that you- it drains MP and gives you some HP as well. So if you're a sorcerer that like hates having to use potions a bunch of times, then maybe you might want to get this ability because it gives you more sustainability. The last ability to cover is this goofy tornado ability, where basically you just summon a tornado, and similar to Frost Storm, where it's an AoE damage over time, except it's also a tornado, so it'll suck enemies into the tornado. This does not include bosses, though. And it's a pretty fun ability. I can see why people would want to invest into this one. And if you apply the element to it, you get, like, a very insane speed boost. So if, you're, if you want more mobility as a sorcerer for some reason, then there you go. This is the ability for you. So in order to become a sorcerer, you need to be level 30 base mage, obviously. But they've also moved this trainer since the last time I made a sorcerer guide. You actually need to go to the, the same mage fortress area. But now you go over here. And then you make your way over here to this, like, clock tower thing. And you'll find the trainer right, right in here. So for building sorcerer, my go-to stats is 70 dex, rest intelligence. You do 70 dex now instead of 30 dex because they just moved the 30 dex perk that lowered cooldowns up to 70 dex. It's still just as worth it as it ever was, but now you just need 70 dex to get that perk. And also, you could do 10 strength if you want because 
that gives you more damage to fall the monsters, and that can be pretty useful. But other than that, these stats are just from Captain's Hand, which I'll go for when I go over equipment, but this 70 dex rest intelligence is the most important thing to do. For abilities, I forgot to do adventure abilities because um <laughs> they're not really that good. I guess I could max out missile because you definitely want that if you're using like stars or something, but adventure skills don't really matter. For the mage book, I put three points at a blink and then I maxed out multi-bomb and thunder call. Whenever I'll, I'll cover combos, but when you cover when you do combos, these are pretty good things to do in between. I'll show my go-to source for combo in a bit, but basically these are pretty good fillers for combos. And then for abilities, I maxed out Frost Storm because that's just a good damage over time ability. You could swap this out with Howling Gale if you really like the Tornado ability, but personally, this is just more of a PvP ability than anything to me. And um, Frost Storm is just this, but better in my in like every way except the fact that it's not funny then you know you max out meteor sour because that's just the stupid op ability earth call i also maxed out just because it's a pretty low investment cost and it has a very short cooldown so this is also a good ability to use in between combos i put one point to nature's rats because i didn't feel like putting the one point into howling gale i guess you could use the nature element to drain some mp but it's really not that good at level one so I wouldn't rely on it too much, but it's just it's good to have, I guess. And then I put the rest of the points in Unstable Charge, because this is just like Meteor. It's another stupidly overpowered ability that every Sorcerer... I feel like every Sorcerer kit needs at least max Meteor and max Unstable Charge. The rest, you can, you can kind of mess around with, but this is just what I came up with. For equipment, I'm going to be honest. Equipment, my equipment is trash, because it doesn't really matter, but... What I would do is I would definitely use Ornate Staff just because it has a new passive. It's been reworked like a dozen times, but now the, the new passive basis gives you free damage on all your abilities. So there's that. For the Tome, I use the Artificer's Tome, but you could swap this out with like the Incaridian, which you get from the Tree of Life boss. Or that one like Halloween Tome, the, the Witch one. I think that one's also really good. Doesn't really matter that much though. I mean, I, I got in a way of doing good DPS with a clean Artificer's Tome, so... There's that. For the headgear, I would use a wise beard or captain's hat if you have one, but if you don't, just use your best mage hat. It doesn't really matter there. As long as you get 70 dex for us intelligence, it doesn't really matter what hat you used. But this hat is pretty good because you also get some of the other like perks for free, like the free strength perk. And since I'm also using the Archeo Magus robes or whatever, I can get the, the Vite perk for free as well, which increases ability radius. And for boots, I just use these Explore Yeti boots. You can pretty much get these for free at the... I mean, if you go to Redwood Stronghold, there's a little passage that leads to this place called the Gates of Morn. And that place, you can just find a blue steel chest and they'll give you these boots for free. And they're just, they're pretty much just the best mage boots. Here is my favorite sorcerer combo to use with this build. I call it the... Now I am become death. The destroyer of worlds. Mishumiye, shumiye, shumiyawa. Drake, swa la la la. Drake, swa la la la. And that does around 13,000 DPS. With this garbage gear, keep in mind, so I don't, I don't know. But if anyone has a higher damage combo, put it in the comments, and if it's better than this one, I'll pay it. 